Hello there, my name is Otto Beck and I'm a cinematographer and producer at Hayat Films Video Production based in Prague, Czech Republic. Today I want to show you our corporate interview setup and talk about some details which will help you to film interviews properly. Let's start with our cameras. Last year we upgraded to the Canon EOS C70 and the Canon EOS R5. Let's talk about our C70 as a main A camera for this setup. It's really great that the camera has RF mount, which means you can use both EF and RF lens. Also, it gives you a full frame equivalent image if you use EF lens with Canon mount adapter. It gives us an extra f-stop, which is awesome when you're shooting inside to keep the ISO low. We normally use the Canon EF 7200 IS lens with this adapter and it's a great sharp lens for close-up shots. For this interview setup we're using Canon C70 with my favorite lens, the Canon RF 2470 2.8 IS. It's a very really sharp lens uh, with a fast IS which really helps to stabilize the shot while we're shooting B-rolls handheld. I like it keeping it between 35-55 mm at 2.8 in this kind of interview setups which gives you enough bokeh for the separation of the interviewer from the background. We always shoot in 4K UHD XF AVC in 10-bit Canon Lock 2 at 25 frames per second using long gob compression. It gives you so much flexibility in post to play with, like cropping or reframing if you deliver the final video edit in Full HD. Also, we connect audio straight to the mini XLR inputs of the camera. We always use two sources of audio, like wireless lavalier and boom shotgun mic in our interviews. Because sometimes a lavalier might sound clear in noisy locations and sometimes a shotgun mic sounds more natural or you can mix them in post to get the best results. For proper white balance, we use these small white cards. You have to sit with this card in the interviewer spot where normally all lights are directed. After doing this, we zoom to the card and let the camera choose the right white balance. Now let's talk about our B camera. It's a Canon EOS R5. So in this interview setup, we're using with Canon EF 7200 IS using an adapter for close-up shots. Our video settings are 4K 25 frames per second, Canon Log 3 IPB. We use IPB because it helps us to keep file sizes small because the interviews can be very long. If the interior space let you shoot in crop mode, I would suggest doing it because 4K crop mode in RF is oversampled from 5.1K, so it's sharper than normal 4K and it's easily matched with the C70 in terms of sharpness in this mode. We use this camera as a gimbal camera with the amazing lens Canon RF 15-35mm f2.8 IS. 4K 120 frames per second, full frame in 10-bit is a dream to shoot smooth B-rolls with this camera. The recent firmware update which gave us Canon Lock 3 means now it's very easy to match with the Canon C70 even if it was shot in Canon Lock 2. Now let's talk about our framing. Our C70 is in front of the interviewer at the eye level and our lens is at 60 mm. The person will be looking slightly left from our main camera. This means that our B camera will be on his right. So we put the Canon R5 with Canon 7200 at 100 mm in crop mode. The B camera has to be located more on the side of the interviewer, so when we cut to the B camera in the post, it will be at a different angle than our main camera. If you're shooting towards big windows and you want to keep the outdoor exposure under control, then I would suggest using ND gales for windows. 
After we are happy with our framing, we start positioning our lights. It's important that our key light is on the other side than our B camera, so it means that fill light will be on the Canon R5 side. For the fill, you can use diffuser or we sometimes use LED panels with a softbox to fill uh, the other side of the face if we need. For the backlight or hair light, we use the focusing LED light or LED panels. These lights are great for controlling the spread and focusing the light to the exact spot you need. Our last tip is very important. Put the person asking questions next to the main camera. It's crucial to have someone at eye level. I hope these tips help you to get better results when setting up interview videos in corporate environments. Thank you for watching.